Do you think life experiences can help us to discover of who we really are? According to Sight of Psych Alive, the greatest and most important adventure of our lives is discovering who we really are. Finding yourself may sound like an inherently self-centered goal, but it is actually an unselfish process that is at the root of everything we do in life. In order to be the most valuable person to the world around us, we have to first know who we are, what we value, and in effect, what we have to offer. This personal journey is one every individual will benefit from taking. Yet, it also involves a tremendous act of building up, recognizing who we want, and passionately going about feeling our unique destiny, whatever it may be. It's a matter of recognizing our personal power, yet being open and vulnerable to our experiences. As an intelligent and creative exhibition, we need to express ideas accurately in oral and in written forms, demonstrate confidence in the use of the language to meet everyday's needs. At the end of our lesson for today, you are expected to distinguish reflection essay from other forms of essay, deliver a creative reflective essay, writing and illustrating the real life experiences, and reflect through your real life experiences before as a grade 11 student. Distinguishing between types of essays is simply a matter of determining the writer's goal. Does the writer want to talk about a personal experience? describe something, explain an issue, or convince the reader to accept a certain point? There are four major types of essay. We have the narrative essays wherein we bound to tell a story. The writer tells a story about a real life experience. When writing a narrative essay, writers should try to involve the readers by making the story as vivid as possible. Next one would be descriptive essays wherein painting a picture is one of our purpose. It paints a picture with words. A writer might describe a person, place, object, or even memory of special significance. The descriptive essay strives to communicate a deeper meaning through the description. Third one would be the expository essays, where we are just stating facts. In an expository essay, the writer explains and defines a topic using facts, statistics, and examples. Expository writing encompasses a wide range of essay variations, such as the comparison and contrast essay, the cause and effect essay, and the how-to or process essay. Because expository essays are based on facts and not personal feelings, writers don't reveal their emotions or write in the first person. Last one would be the persuasive or argumentative essays, wherein we try to convince someone. While like an, like an um, expository essay, um, it represents facts and its goal is to persuade. Also, to convince the reader to accept the writer's point of view or recommendation. The writer must build a case using facts and logic as well as examples, expert opinion, and sound reasoning. The writer should present all sides of the argument but must be able to communicate clearly and without equivocation why a certain position is correct. After all of those types of essays that we discussed, now let's talk about reflective essay. Reflective papers relate to some events or experiences. You will analyze the experience, its meaning, and lessons that can be learned from it. You will have to go back to your previous life experiences and give a clear account of a certain event, happening, or feeling. This essay format requires you to open about your thoughts and emotions to uncover your mindset, personality, traits of character, and background. Your reflective essay should include a description of the experience or literature piece as well as explanation of your thoughts, feelings, and reactions. Reflections are very personal and subjective, but they must maintain a formal tone and should be well organized. 
nevertheless be honest if you have something negative you could mention that as well and so what is the purpose of reflective writing a reflective paper is the type of academic writing assignment with the aim of revealing more details about your identity mastering reflective writing allows you to analyze and conclude what you've read heard or seen make connections between the text and yourself or other texts and the world think about what you've learned and how you can or will use the newly acquired information write subjectively from your own point of view and help identify your interests so what can we write about the reflective essay is probably an essay you can borrow a topic for because it should be about your own thoughts and experiences however here are some ideas you can write about to help you begin. You could also have an exper experience you will never forget, the moment you overcame a fear, the most difficult choice you had to make, a time your beliefs were challenged, a time something changed your life, the happiest moment or most frightening moment of your life so far, ways you think you or people can make the world a better place, a time you felt lost, an introspective look at your choices or a time you made the wrong choice. It can also be a moment in your life you would like to relieve. Have you come to the point of life that you want to go back in a specific situation to change the way you react or respond? Reflective essay has its outline as well. To start organizing your reflective essay, Take a look at your brainstorming table. The past experience and description should constitute less than 10% of your essay. So your essay must have an introduction. Your introduction should consist of the hook and the thesis statement. So the hook, this is a part of your essay wherein you grab the reader's attention in a short preview of what you'll be writing about. While the thesis statement, the reflective essay thesis statement should include that past experience information, a brief statement of what your essay is going, be, is going to be about. The body of your reflective essay should always contain your ideas regarding a particular idea, work of art, or event. The body paragraphs should examine the ideas and experiences you've had in context to your topic. Make sure each new body paragraph starts with a topic sentence. If you are writing about a, or an academic article, your reflection may include quotes and passages. Lastly, the conclusion part must drop up your ideas and demonstrate a sense of how you've developed as a result of the experience. Describe your feelings mention discoveries, and most importantly, plans for 